It's going to be a pretty awesome, epic, interesting day as we look to find out which EV truck reigns supreme. So four EV trucks you can buy today. Of course, the Cybertruck behind me, yeah, it's kind of hard to get. We have the Silverado right over here. We have the Rivian R1T right here. And then right back here, you can see the F-150 Lightning. And really the question is, all four of these trucks are different. They all have different benefits, but what matters the most to these trucks when you're going on a road trip? So for example, R1T, most efficient by far truck on this trip, but it doesn't have the best charging curve. Silverado, massive battery. Now this is the 180 kilowatt hour battery pack. So not the biggest one, but it's a huge battery pack, massive range and charges really well when it's charging right. So that's an interesting setup. We also have Tesla supercharging network, the most reliable charging network, right? So what is more important? Is it a big battery? Is it an efficient truck or is it the charger that matters? That's what we're here to find out today. And there's a bunch of us here, three to four people per truck, actually only one truck with four people, the truck I'm in, and that is the Silverado. So I really think that the Silverado is probably gonna win this thing. We're here in Jacksonville at the beach, headed all the way to San Diego. And I think that the Silverado is going to not just win, but like crush the competition on this. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this works out, especially for the Cybertruck, which has the smallest battery and uh, doesn't have the best charge curve of all these trucks. I really want this truck to win, obviously, but I am not going to touch this thing during the race. They are going to do their thing. This is all going to be as even equal as possible to get the best real result of which truck is supreme. So let me take you on a quick little walk around the truck. We have the small wheels, which is good. This is really like a work truck. This is a very base down trim with a massive 180 kilowatt hour battery pack. And when I open it up here, well, it's locked, okay. But you can see, I mean, even the seats are pretty basic, which is fine in general, but when going across the country, it's not going to be the most comfortable of the options here. And there's four of us in here. Um, now, all of our gear did fit in the front, which is great, uh, but this, we have to make it all the way there. We've already had our challenges. Actually, last night, just getting this thing to charge was an issue. We had 12 volt battery issues. We've had to reset this truck several times. So that is the big wild card with this truck. Is it going to have any technical issues on this trip? And as long as it doesn't, this thing should absolutely crush this test, but nothing is guaranteed. And on top of that, we are relying on the public charging network, which has gotten so much better, but as we all know, it cannot match Tesla's reliability, which both the Cybertruck and the F-150 Lightning are going to be able to use. The Tesla supercharging network the whole way to San Diego, we do not have that advantage. All right, who wins? Rivian, for sure. Who wins? Of course it's Rivian. Who wins? Rivian, yeah. Which one wins? F-150. <laughs> who wins? Us. Us. Big batteries. Us. Big Silverado, batteries. Silverado. Oh, yeah. Who wins? Well, I know who loses. Well, I think we can all guess, but Silverado, who wins? For Silverado, sure. unfortunately. Who wins? Man, you're asking for you're asking for predictions. I mean, Silverado should. Silverado should. Is that so, what you're going with? So we'll leave it up to EA. Silverado, <laughs> it is. All right, who wins? Which truck? Uh, if the Silverado has good charging, they're going to win. If they don't, it's either going to be the F-150 or the R1T. Yeah. Which truck's gonna win? Uh, gonna win, I think. The Silverado's gonna win. To be Silverado. Yeah. Who's gonna win? Um, oof. I think I think the Silverado. Of course, everyone's been saying it, but um, the Lightning. I think it's gonna be the easiest one to road trip. They can use any network. They can avoid the traffic. A lot of this is gonna come down to just busyness at stations. They have the most options in the Lightning, and I think that's gonna be a huge, uh, great win. Um, the Cybertruck, though, if we can optimize it and just hold it at that 250 kilowatt charging range and just run it to zero every time, I know we've been kind of downplaying it in our video, but I think it might have a chance. But I'm very curious to see. So, and yeah. I don't think people realize or understand you and uh, Drew and yeah, Brandon, Brandon yeah. you guys are committed 
No AC. Maybe maybe no, the fan, we'll use but AC like if we need to. But like, but you guys are. We're here to win. Yeah. We're not gonna let the Tesla people down. That's not, right. You know, we we gotta give the truck. That's why we're in the truck because I just you know, if it has any chance, we need to give it everything it's got. That's right. Yep. Very good. Okay, so final final prediction: Silverado or F one fifty or Cybertruck. The order in an ideal world, I think, would be. Silverado, Rivian, Lightning, Cybertruck. In my head, those would be the fastest road trippers in order. But what's your prediction for real world we're about to Anything take? can happen. Anything can happen. It's over 2,500 miles. Do we know how long it is? I haven't even looked at a map. I, it's, I haven't looked. It's two, over 2,000 miles yeah. for sure uh, of, of who knows what's going to happen. So we have 20, 25 charging stops ahead of us. One of them could be the make or break. That's true. But we everybody's given an answer except for you. Right. Which well, one? One truck takes it all. We'll have to Best wait till prediction. the end of this video to find out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. Yeah. All right, so we've officially started. Uh, we did yeah. have some filming going on, so we're a couple seconds behind, but I can still see the Cybertruck at the light right ahead. So it has officially begun. Silverado on its way to San Diego, and all right, uh, we're not going to have issues. So we so are going to Stanley. win. Stanley. Fine, America. <laughs> oh my goodness. Keep leading your Electrify. Got, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> 3%. This is why Google has so much money. All right, so we are going to Chipley. That's our first stop. As we can see on the screen, EA, and it's not gonna let us down. That is 3% at arrival. I know Electrify America is gonna do as good on this trip. I just know it. Please check plug share. Please. And we will be on plug share the whole time. So that's it. Uh, let's get to Chipley. How many miles is that? 260 miles. And, and we're at 90%. Worst I don't case, know if we how get we lost tow, it's only an 8,000 pound truck, so we can get someone to help us pretty easy. Yeah, we can get a caterpillar out here to yeah. <laughs> pull us out. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. Headed up to the first bridge. Where are we at? How far behind are we? Oh, we are way behind. We yeah, they're all clustered there. So I think we're still dealing with traffic. So to be honest, these differences could be neutralized quite quickly, but right now we are behind. Yeah, that's uh, that's just the name of the game until we get on the highway. I mean, there's nothing we can do. It's, I don't know, 12 miles from the beach to the highway, something like that. Yeah, but we so. have to use our arrow once we get on the highway, get to 90 or 80. 80, yeah. 85 or yeah. 80. Um, yeah. So something I forgot to mention uh, before we set off, there are some rules here and uh, the rules are about speed. We're not, I mean, it's a race, but we're not like flooring it. So 10 miles an hour over the speed limit up to 85. So when we get out West, like Texas, uh, there's like 80 mile an hour roads. We're not going to go 90, we can go 85 in those areas. So minimum 55, uh, top end 85 with 10 over the speed limit. So once we get on the highway, we should be able to uh, hopefully catch up. Uh, but until we get through all these traffic lights, uh, we're kind of behind at the very beginning. But I think our first charging stop is like a hundred miles further than the Cybertruck, which is like pretty insane. 130. 130 miles farther than the Cybertruck. So um, that's a good start. So as long as Electrify America shows up for the day, um, I think we'll be okay. So just keep an eye on the tech, the charging, and... Uh, we could really like have this thing hours. We could take this hours. away. Like a, a better route planner said we were four or five hours ahead. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Just like a monster lead. And that like the Silverado, it's super heavy, um, but it's not all that inefficient for how big of a truck it is. It's honestly. super efficient. It's actually efficient. really efficient. And uh, the battery, the so far? When, when the battery is doing well, it charges quick, so. That's where we're at. Hopefully have a good update for you uh, here soon. So what I've been doing is watching the percentage here on the screen and I've been watching miles to go. The first little bit of that was 6% and we traveled 2.6, which is on the low side. The last 5%, we did 3.2. So we're trying to get as close to an 80 mile an hour stretch as possible. We have quite a bit of headwind to give us a really good baseline of how far we're going to go per percent so that we can keep an eye on our miles remaining and uh, what our remaining percentage is and that's kind of how we're keeping an eye on efficiency and expectations for uh, how far to go between these chargers so a little update for you we are headed into the rain which is uh, to be expected here in Florida we are sitting at 48 percent we have 122 miles to go 
Everything's looking good. We are about six, six and a half miles behind the vehicles up ahead. And they will be stopping here in the next 100 miles or so. And we will continue on from here. But right now, we're about to slow down a lot. Because hey, we're not kidding. This is not good. So what do we got on the no, phone here? Uh, we've got a tornado watch and a hail warning. Awesome. And this is great. Yeah. This Pro is throwing a real wild card into things. Yeah, we're definitely, definitely uh, shaking things up. Where are they at on uh, the map? Let's see. Let's see. Let me go on a glimpse. Hopefully the front is sealed. Yeah. Looks like the Rivian's still leading. We got Kyle behind and the Lightning a little bit lagging. Yeah, and Kyle passed the Lightning a while back, so he's been stretching his lead on the F-150. We're still quite a ways back here. I'm surprised. Kyle's pushing it on all fronts because he's going the Mariana Supercharger and he's not letting up on speed, so. Yeah, so he's, I mean, it's 248 miles, I think, from the start point to Mariana, and we can't see anything, so. Hopefully this doesn't last too long. All right, so a bit of a situation update for you. Apparently the Cybertruck did have to pull over early, so they did not make it to Mariana, probably 80 miles short of, but they are at a charger. That is a truck stop there. So the Rivian's still in the lead. We got the F-150 right behind the Cybertruck, and we are still back here in the storm. So making up some headway, I think the Cybertruck uh, really took a hit on this rain, as we all did, of course. Here is the exit right here, and if you look really close, right there, there's the cyber truck and the F-150 Lightning charging right there. You can see them. No, you can't. I hate that I looked. We are finally <laughs> no longer in the rear of the pack, so hopefully we can hold this after stopping to charge. But officially, we have now passed the cyber truck and F-150 Lightning pulled out right behind of us. I guess they saw us coming and they decided they don't want to. Oh, us. they did a splash and dash. That's exactly what they did. Oh, yeah. So Cybertruck, I'm having some focus issues here. Uh, but that is, focus the that is the headlight of the, um, of the Cybertruck there. Don't worry. They won't be able to pass. There's a building in front of us. <laughs> there he is. There is okay. actually a mobile home in front of us. And we are, they're drafting us, however, which great and now they're trying to pass uh, no no yep there they go so no, no do that do oh do that. no, no. That, that's not cool but it's a race you know it's don't do illegal things he's not doing anything illegal uh oh he's just gonna cut in front of you so we're still not in the back I hear um, but we are oh, oh no oh no yeah no. this is not good so this oh, is oh Oh gosh, completely off the oh, road. Oh, I hope they're okay. Oh. That does not look good. Well, the structure looked intact, so. That was a head on. Gosh. So, um, back at it, the Cybertruck has just passed us. Splash and dash to get them to Mariana is my guess, so we'll keep an eye on where they actually pull over. But the F-150 is still charging, um, and they'll stay there likely to charge long enough to get to the next Tesla supercharger, which is their strategy. Find the Cybertruck. So it, it feels an awful lot like um, like we're being blocked here by the Cybertruck. Yep. I'm not saying that's what's happening. That's just the optics from the back seat of the Silverado. All right, so here we are going over the overpass. This is the exit the Rivian uh, took to charge. So Don lives there. after we get over this bridge, that means we will be in second place and the only EV to still not have stopped to charge. A little update for you. We are officially in second place now. We have passed all vehicles once. Cybertruck did squeeze in past us. They are in first place, we are in second. We are the only EV in the Silverado to not have stopped to charge yet. We are sitting at, if I can see best, 32%. We have 100, or we have 80, what is that, 82, 82 miles? miles 82 miles to go. 
Cybertruck right in front of us. I think they're either going to be charging at the same place or just before us. So this charging stop is going to be a big deal. They are definitely not happy about this. Matter of fact, the Cybertruck is about to pull over for its second charging stop. To be fair, the last one was a splash dash to get to this charger. And we're still rolling. We are the only one that has not pulled over to charge yet. We are getting close to our charger. Uh, here in the next 24 miles, we're at, I think, 12%. Uh, plenty of charge to get there. That was 90 to 12% where we're at right now. Cool. So here they come up on the charging stop. And when they do, we are officially going to be in the lead. For how long, we do not know. But I will say the next stop is only 100-ish miles, 130 miles, something like that and uh, we will be able to um, charge for a short period of time. There they go. <laughs> and the almost, Spurs. almost. Losers. And we are officially in first place. There it is, for the first time in the race, starting from the back, several miles behind, six miles to be exact, and from the back, 90%. 90% instead of close to 100, like everybody else, the Silverado is finally reigning first place. How long will that last? We shall find out soon Freeze, enough. Very far so we did finally get the warning, charge your vehicle soon. So at 30 miles or 10%, that is uh, when that warning comes on. So almost there, 20-ish miles to go, 20 no miles. No power limit so far. No power limit so far. We will keep an eye on that though, because that, that may it have to, that may have a pretty decent play if we start to get draw on our uh, usable power at a low percentage. Okay, a little bit of uh, bad news on the way here. Electrify America has four stalls at the charges we're about to go to in Walmart Chipley, and uh, the two 350 kilowatt units are in use. Uh, and then the other unit is for, in for maintenance, but that would be slow anyway. So we're left with this slow 150 kilowatt CCS. So hopefully when we get there, that's not an issue, but uh, it's shocking to me as a Tesla owner to look at this and see there's four charging stalls. And that's best case scenario <laughs> if they're all working. Yeah. It's usually three. Yeah, that's just nuts. Anyways, when we get there, I am confident um, they'll be done with their grocery shopping because I'm sure they're fully charged and just like chilling on a 350. You know, Probably the thing about the EA's reporting is that it says the one station is, is slow for maintenance or whatever. That could be a full speed station. We don't know. They often mark them erroneously. The data could be wrong. Yeah. But wow. also one that I went to last night where the data was wrong, bricked the truck. So. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Let's not do that either. Uh, we will face that when we get there. We got about 12 minutes, 14 miles, 7%. Looking great. No way. Okay, so we're, we're, we've been in 5% for a couple of miles. Charge and, vehicle now. And now we're getting all the warnings. So at 5%, it disengaged uh, adaptive cruise. We've got a bunch of warning lines. I was going to slow down to 70. Uh, yeah. yeah, you don't need to slow down. We want to see if it'll continue to drive at this. Uh, state of charge. I have no cruise control now, so it's gonna... So, what, what, do you feel like we don't have power? No, we're still I'm not gonna floor it to right. find out. No, no, not the floor it, but yeah, we're, we can still do 80. Um, so yeah, a lot of warning lights, 5%. Yeah. This is what a bolt does too, doesn't it? And it, uh... No, oh, I got a red exclamation point up there in turtle mode. Nah, you're good. Yeah, it says turtle mode, but it's like maybe turtle mode light or the like the about fake these turtle GMEVs mode. GMEVs is they're very loud. All right, so here we go. Pulling off of the interstate now. What what are we at? Two hundred sixty-five miles. Is that what you said? Two, yeah, two hundred fifty-six so, or two hundred sixty-five. One of those two. So about two hundred sixty right miles. Right at the fork. Which we'll pull that up here in a second. Uh, to total miles that we've driven at from ninety percent to looking like two or three. We're at three. It says two. So. So we're gonna pull in here. Um, it's okay. still looking like Take one of two right. or one of four chargers is available. Walmart and it is unfortunately the 150. So let's see. I create the bathroom so far away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're in cabinets. We're at 3% straight ahead. Right? It's gotta be straight ahead, oh, right? Good. Is that, is is those the cabinets right there? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Good eye. 
Okay. Run him over. Nice. Okay, I see a I on it. I think we have to do three. Oh, there are two. There's a Mach E. Mach E. Mach -E. He doesn't need what? to be there. Use the, the, the charger. Oh my oh, gosh. Dang. And that one's Which, three is the one that's off online. Okay. Yeah. So back in here and we're gonna unplug him. Yeah. For reals. Okay. I'm gonna bag him. Yeah, I'm gonna bag, oh, wait, bag, 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 bag. I gotta bag. reposition. Oh no. They can't open their door. Who we'll can't? Just, but we'll, oh we no, can, they're fine. They're talk fine. To them. There's enough room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're good. Hi there. I'm wondering if I could beg you to take that 350. Well, I, but, but you can't use 350. There's a 150 right there, and I'm just begging if we could use that 350. We're in a race, We're in a race. coast to coast. Well, that, that's only one cabinet. We'll pay for their charge. Yeah, and we'll pay for your charge and everything. There's only that. This is only one cabinet. It'll only charge one vehicle. But we'd be happy to pay for your charge. The last one, there is a 350, right? Uh, someone I, else in there? But he can actually use that extra power. This car can't use the 350. Oh, it will be the same? 150 and 350 will do the same for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, we'd be happy to pay for your charge, anything. No, it's okay. Well, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Yeah, we are. It's okay if we stay here we have to go there. Huh? Are you going to Is it that charger or this one? It's this one. No, which one's uh, the 150 that's available? That one? This one. Okay, so move the truck. Move. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it'll reach? No, no, it won't. It's on the other yeah, side. Yeah, move the truck. Okay, move the truck away. Uh, over here. Yeah, get it out of his way. We are plugged in. These folks were so kind to let us switch them to the 150. Are we charging? We theoretically are. We don't know the speed yet. It's a moment of truth. There's a plug icon. That's all I got. Okay, well, it's still initiating. initiating. Oh, we're going. We're going. Okay. Green light. Where are we at? There it is. 100. 112. 126. 130. 160. What? Oh, there we go. Once it, it gets up to five, maybe we'll get another jump. Okay, so the plan is, can you punch in the next stop? Or do you ever, do you already have it in there? No, what is the next stop? Oh, okay, so we're sitting at 243 now at 5%. Uh, we're putting in the address, because I think it's only like 130 oh, miles. Oh, Louisiana. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, sorry, not Alabama, Louisiana. There we go. 315 miles? That's not right, no. That's the wrong one. It's Alabama, it is in Alabama. All right, hang on. I'm going to get him the address. Be right back. All right, we got it for real this time. Uh, looks like it is, what does we it need. say? 137 miles, almost two hours. So um, 137 divided by, we're going to do 2.8. Do you have it's, a calculator out? Yeah. It says we need 40%. It says, zero. it says we need 50, right? So 10, 12 plus 40, 52. And I, we, we need 40 more percent. As well. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it looks like about 40 more percent would get us to, um, 42% or I'm sorry, 52% uh, before we could leave, which is close. I was thinking it was going to be 48, but I think it's a few more miles on the actual map. Once you uh, plug it in from this spot. So what is that math? Um, by uh, 2.8 is 137 divided by 2.8? Yep. 48.9. 48.9. So, so let's do 52, so 52 for buffer. So 52 is fine at this speed. We're still sitting at 253, which is great at 13%. We are in the Walmart parking lot. So that does give us all a chance to finally uh, go to the restroom because the range is too much. Is that even a thing? Too much range? So here's the situation. Uh, we are sitting here. We were sitting at like, 215 220 for like this whole time and then it dropped to 150 it's tapering very smoothly at least but it is it is pretty smooth but the chevy bolt showed up and then it just dropped uh, i think it saw the bolt did its thing dropped um what the we hummer? bribed Sorry. these super nice people right here um to get this 350 and uh they don't have their keys with them so they agreed but now they can't reach the charger and i feel 
terrible. They've been sitting there since we went from like zero, two, three percent to 62 now. It's been a while. All right, so here we are. We are we unplug it? done. We're gonna stop charging right now. 82%. We've been here for 50 minutes since we pulled up. So um, that's a long time, but we did go from like 3% to 82 on 50 this minutes massive. 50 minutes to 230 miles. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty dang good actually. Um, so as long as we can maintain that efficiency, we should be good. We're running, we're running, and we're getting in the vehicle, and we're going, and uh, we'll get back up. Um, the F-150 team is across the street at a supercharger, so we will pass them here on our way out. It's okay, it's been three days in Texas. Okay, goodbye Florida, hello Alabama briefly. All right, bit of a situation update. We are now in first once again. We have 92 miles to go at 34%, and that'll be here in Alabama. So interestingly, I think that there's a cool story happening right now with the Rivian. I think they made a bad call based on what I'm hearing from these guys on the charger they selected last and having issues. They weren't there very long, and I suspected it was going to have to be a, they dumped the charger and it appears that's what they did because where they stopped in Pensacola, probably not the best choice and uh, way too soon for another stop to uh, charge. So that's three stops for the Rivian. I think the Cybertruck's on stop number four. Is that right? Yeah. I think they're on four or five. Four. It's not it's four. five. I think it's four. So Cybertruck is on charging stop number four. We just passed them. And uh, the Ford is on charging stop. They're about to do their third. We're still on one charging stop. So our second charging stop is coming up here in another hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> that gets insane. Um, if you do not have a good bladder, this is probably not the truck for you. Because oh, at the range, we're just about to cross crazy. 400 miles. About to cross 400 miles. Let me turn this camera around. Oh, this is the screen. <laughs> this Perfect. is the one screen. Four and miles. I'll do the Bjorn thing. Nine, 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 400. <laughs> 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour. So <laughs> we've uh, kind of steadied out. I, I'm surprised this hasn't gone back up to 1.7. That's really what we're getting based on what I'm watching. I just keep watching our percentage and distance to destination. <laughs> Please get that. That's <laughs> not real. Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, so yeah, I just keep looking at that, distance to destination, making sure my calculations are still good, we're safe, and uh, we're headed. Also, the charger we're headed to is um, looking good so far on the app for Electrify America. So, so that's the situation, things are brewing, and honestly, first, second, and third place continue to be tight. And I think it'll be at least until late tonight before we start to get an idea of who's pulling ahead, honestly. So that's where we're going. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, uh, big regen. So there's no delay on regen, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Apologize to well, my passengers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hit the brake <laughs> to get it out of cruise, and it immediately turned full regen on if and you, the brake. If you cancel re, uh, cruise control normally, it does. Okay, it, it does, does a slow. Yeah. Apologies. I guess that's another thing I've got to figure out with this truck. That seems excessive. But anyways. I haven't turned all the way up. Again. We are ready to roll, as it should oh, be. Shit. Yeah. So they're back on the road. The Cybertruck? Uh, looks like they might be, or Kyle's walking. Whichever is likelier. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle doesn't walk. <laughs> what does it say? Four miles an hour? No, 1.9. Okay, that's faster than they'd probably be walking. Yeah, they're, they're probably walking. Okay, what was the issue that Jerome had? Okay. Oh, wow. so, no. They're out. They're out. Jesus. So, yeah, I mean, the Cybertruck, they've got it down pat. They've got it figured out on how to splash and, and dash. And, traffic and that's right. how it's got to be for them to, to pull this off. That's how you would do it in the Cybertruck. And you've got the right guy behind the wheel to do it. So, what's that? I didn't realize my speed. Uh, so, Jerome sent a video of the uh, charging cable where the last stop leaking fluid out. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're pulling into traffic now, which is surprising because we're out of Pensacola, but we'll pick this up here in a little bit. Keep some bit of a distance in front of the Cybertruck because they'll have to pull over again before we do. So that's where we're at. <laughs> 